I believe in my heart that this is the right thing to do, Steffi. Not that it's easy. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. You're letting go of my marriage and the man I love, but I, I can't not. You know, I have to do this for, for Kelly, for Phoebe, for Douglas. They need me. They need us to do this for them. And you can reconcile. You know, your girls can have both parents in their home raising them together. And, and Liam's already so much of a father to Phoebe. And then I can be there for Douglas. Oh, whoa. Look, I just, I know that this is a lot to process. I get it, but. I never imagined this conversation when I returned from Paris. I, I really didn't. Hope I, I made my choice. I chose myself. I chose to raise the girls on my own. And is it tough? Yeah. Yeah, it is, but I'm doing it. So if you and Liam end things, look, I'll understand, but that doesn't mean that he and I are going to get back together. All I've been doing is drowning in the sorrow and unable to move forward, but I really feel like if we make the children our priority, I will be able to. Kelly, Phoebe, and Douglas need this. So please, just make a home for the girls with Liam. Please make him see that this is what's best for everyone. Some things never change. What? You still belly flop every single time. Okay, fine. I'm not like an Olympic diver or anything, oh, but I do okay. have other talents. You should see me on a surfboard. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so you surf, but you can't do one dive without doing that? I know, I know. Go figure, right? God. Um, but no, it's true. I've actually won a few amateur surf contests. Not to brag or anything. Oh. Well, can I see your, uh, your medals? I mean, I'm... I'll show you mine if you show me yours. I don't have any. Damn it. Damn it. I've actually never been on a surfboard. Well, we'll have to change that. Because, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd love to teach you. Okay. Really? Yeah, I mean, unless you think I'm not really the surfer girl type. Well, I mean, I don't think there is a type per se, but I mean, there is one thing for sure. What's that? You, you would be the hottest surfer girl in the Pacific. So I promised you a date, didn't I? Yeah. I, I mean, I can make good on that. Like we can go to a, a restaurant and see what bands are playing afterwards or, or something. Okay. Just, just okay? I thought you'd be more excited well, about that. <laughs> normally I would, but I don't know, seeing as this is my new house and everything. Right, and you, you well, never want to leave. Well, we are alone. <laughs> and there is a huge chef's kitchen that <sighs> nobody is using. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you do not have to cook us dinner. Oh, it could be fun, though. But, okay, fine. Dinner, dinner would be fun. Under one condition. Dessert is on me. Okay. Yeah. Coming. Dad, hey. Hi. Oh, wait, I was my beautiful daughter. Oh, I don't mean how are your beautiful granddaughters? That's why you're here, right? Be doting on them? Well, I'm, I'm behind in the doting department, so I should do a little of that. Hurry up. Oh, they're still napping. <sighs> okay, well, there's no reason for me to be here. Oh, Goodbye. Dad. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna on you a little bit, too. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah. How's everything with you? Good, good. good. Everything's good, but mm -hmm. there is uh, something I want to talk to you about. If it's about Hope and Liam, I already know.
it looks like we have a budding comedian on our hands. What's that? A comedian? Oh, well, that's a person whose job it is to make people laugh. Huh. Hey, what do you want to be when you grow up, Douglas? Mommy said it can be anything I want. Well, your mommy's right. Mommy was right about a lot of things. I hope it's okay. The little dude and me popping in like this, he really missed you. Oh, that's funny, because I, I missed you too. <laughs> hey, you want to know a secret? What kind of secret? Oh, it's the best kind of secret. It's that you give the best hugs in the whole wide world. Ah. <laughs> I'm so glad we ordered in. It's so good. Uh, you know, when I suggested a date, I did not picture this. <laughs> I mean, eating takeout while my uh, creepy mother stares down at us. <sighs> if it's creeping you out too much, we, we, we can move. I mean, there's, there's the patio, no, the no, no, pool. No, 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 it's totally fine. I will just ignore her like I always do. <laughs> <laughs> you always could make me laugh. Well, that's, that's what I'm here for. Oh, well, you're much more than that. Mm -hmm. You are kind, and mm -hmm. you're sweet, and you're... Sexy. Well, I was going to say handsome, mm -hmm. but sexy works, too. <laughs> okay. No wonder I fell so hard for you all those years ago. What about, what about now? Well, now I feel like I'm living in this dream world. Everything good that could possibly happen to me is happening. I mean, finding you again after all these years. Yeah. I, um, I didn't believe a future with you was possible. But now, now I kind of feel like anything is possible. It just feels right. having a, a tough time, you know. Hope is in pain, and you know, this whole deal with dissolving the marriage, it doesn't make sense to her. It makes sense to Hope. At least that's the way she explained it to me. You talked to her? Yeah, yeah, she was here not too long ago. The whole thing's complicated. She tried to end their marriage before, but Liam wasn't having it. He refused to give up. But she's been in so much turmoil, thinking that she's keeping Liam from being a full-time father to Kelly and Phoebe, denying them a family. She said she doesn't want to have that with him, and that's, that's why she's here. That's why she came here. She wants Liam to make a family with me and the girls. Do you give hugs like mommy? What about me? I mean, don't I give great hugs? Daddy's cheesy. Oh, well, maybe he should be a comic, too, when he grows up. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, to you two, maybe. I feel like I'm being ganged up on over here. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> See, it feels good to laugh, doesn't it? My mommy used to laugh a lot. <laughs> yeah, sports she did. She, her whole face would light up. Like yours right now. <laughs> You know, your mommy was a very special woman. She loved being around people and putting smiles on their faces. And most of all, she loved taking care of you. Yeah. Um, well, hey, we should, we should probably head back up to the main house. Your bedtime's soon, and we haven't even got you in a bath yet. <laughs> I love you, Hope, so much. Oh. <laughs> Um, I mean, all of a sudden, it feels like things are getting very hot in here. What? What? What's wrong? Nothing. I, maybe we should just slow things down a little bit. Am I making you uncomfortable? No, 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 no. No, it's, it's, it's not you. I just, um... 
I just know that you're probably going through a lot, and um... like like with Sally, you mean? Yeah. Okay, Flo. She knows that we're seeing each other. I, I felt like I needed to be upfront with her, so I have been. Because honesty is way too important to me. No secrets. You know what I mean? I thought I'd lost you forever. I didn't think I was ever going to get a chance with you again. Well, life is crazy like that. I mean, you never know what's going to happen from one moment to the next. It is getting a little hot in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should go somewhere where your mom isn't staring down on us. I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids get more incredible every time I see them. Yeah, they do. I just stare at them at the crib. Mm -hmm. Marvel at how perfect they are. Mom and I used to do. Stare at you and your sister and little Thomas. How is Thomas doing? He's going through a lot. Yeah, he's a single parent, just like you. But that could change, right? Are you talking about Thomas, or are you talking about me? It sounds like Liam is going to be a free man. And who knows? I'm not convinced that's going to happen. Hope loves Liam. Yeah. And Liam will always love Hope. Loves you, too. Look... Okay. I don't know what this is going to mean for Liam and me. But, Dad, I am focused on myself and my girls. Hey, I understand that. But I'm looking at these little guys. And I got to agree with Hope. I think she's doing the right thing for these, these beautiful babies. And for all of you. Is it okay? I, I want to wear out my welcome. Uh, I um, thought you were getting Douglas ready for bed. Yeah, well, I, I supervised bath time, but then Pam dropped by to check on us, and uh, they're going to watch his favorite video before lights out. Is she okay with that? I mean, we can go up to the main house to be with them. Well, we can stay here, and you can tell me what's going on with you. I was watching you earlier, and <laughs> like, you, your focus was on Douglas. Like it always is, but I got this feeling. What is it? Oh, are you okay? Liam and I, we're, we're ending our marriage. Stop loving you. Does that surprise you? That I agree with Hope. Does Brooke know you feel this way? Well, Brooke wants the best for her daughter, just like I want the best for mine. And like you said, Hope's been through a lot. Yeah, it, it's, it's been painful for him. We're all there to help her, but it just hasn't made any difference. Liam's been there. When anybody. Marriage breaking up is, is, a, is a very difficult thing. But I have to believe that Hope has thought about this long and hard. And if this is what she wants, then maybe we... we... We need to support her. Yeah. And I know this is not what Brooke wants for her child, but maybe... Maybe this is what I want 
for my children. Who knows, maybe... Maybe you and Liam, you can find a way back to each other and... I don't know, Thomas and Douglas. Maybe hope can be part of their lives too. You and, and Liam, you're... Yes. Well, did he finally come around and realize that he needs to be with Steffi and the girls? No. No, it was my idea like before. Only this time I was able to get through to him. You know, finally convince him that I... I can't do this anymore. And it doesn't mean that I don't love him any less or that I won't always love him. I just, I don't want to take one more day away from Liam spending time with Kelly and Phoebe. And that's where his place is. And my place, it's, my place is here with Douglas. You know, Caroline's letter, it really moved me. And I want to be that woman that she wrote about. I want to be, the person who can bring that motherly love back into Douglas's life. You know, I want to try to give him everything that Caroline wanted for him. That, that is what my life is about now. You have no idea what that means to me, Hope. Knowing that Douglas has, has a, a place in your life, in your heart. I mean, practically from the first time we got back to LA, you were the one who connected with Douglas. And yeah, the, the family's been wonderful, but when he's with you, it's like it was when he was with Caroline. The way that she'd make him feel so, so safe and secure and so incredibly loved. I wasn't sure he'd ever feel that way again, but, but now with you, it seems like there's an opportunity it's an opportunity for him to have a, a happy, bright future. And that's because of you, Hope. You, your love and your commitment to Douglas. I can never thank you enough. <laughs>